Vexels has just introduced a brand new design tool called Vexels Designer, and it's packed with everything you need to create unique, merch ready designs. And here's the exciting part Vexels is kicking things off with an awesome challenge called the Pip My Tea Challenge. They are offering a chance for everyone, completely free, to take an ugly template and transform it into something amazing. In other words, you just need to transform any of these five ugly design templates using Vexels new designer into something better. And in return, you get to participate in the challenge and have a chance at winning. With cash rewards, lifetime Vexels subscriptions, and even print-on-demand perks up for grabs, there's a lot to get excited about if you get lucky and be one of the top three winners in the challenge. By the way, there's a voting page where anyone can vote for his or her favorite design. And this is what we are going to do in this video. I'll show you step by step how to participate in the challenge and how to transform one of the ugly designs to a cool nice one. Let's dive in. So once you click on the link in the description, this will take you directly to the challenge page where you can see all the details related to the challenge. Just go to the participate now button. Once you click on it, you will be asked to choose one of the five templates to work on so that you can join the, join the challenge. And as we have seen, there are five templates that you can choose from. And for the sake of this video, I'm going to choose the sweet captain challenge and show you how you can transform it to a beautiful and nice design. So once you pick your template and press on it, you will be asked to log in or create an account on Vexels. If you don't have an account, just log in using your Google account and this is completely free. You can participate in the challenge even if you don't have any account, any paid account. Uh, plans with Vexus. So then you will be directed to the Vexus designer where you will have the selected template opened. If you press on any of the graphics, a related menu will be opened on the left side. And we're going to go through all of these menus throughout the video. And there are also a couple of tabs on the left. The first tab shows the templates that you can use as a reference. Then the text tab where you can generate quotes, add text, or select one of the text templates. And then there is the elements button, which provides you with all the graphics, shapes, decorations, and even the AI generation tool. And we're going to use it throughout this video as well. And finally, the, finally, there is the upload button where you can use to upload any outside graphics. On the right side, we have a mock-up tab and the layers and the colors and the design settings. The design settings mainly will be used to change the background color. And now let's start editing our template and transform it to something better. So I'm going to use the generate graphic to generate a gingerbread man that is different than the one that we have here on the template. So I'm going to write cool gingerbread biscuit man. And if you open the styles window, you can see different styles that you can use to generate your AI graphic. I'm going to use the enemy style for now and add the vector style to the prompt and press on the generate. This will take a couple of seconds and then generate two images. I like the one on the right side. As you can see, there is the remove background when selecting a button is on. So once we place the image on the board, it will automatically remove the background and it will be scaled automatically for the design. Now we have it ready. It looks very nice. I like this cool um, gingerbread man. So let's select the old one and delete it. Simply press on the delete button and stretch the new graphic. Now for the text, once you select your text, you can stretch it from the sides like so. And also from the layers panel on the side, 
you can see the area or uh, where any of the items on your board is placed. I'm going to delete all the ca the candy items or candy graphics from the board like so. Just press on it and, and select delete. Now I'm going to edit my text. I'm going to use the rewrite code to get something else. Remember for the challenge you have to keep the niche as this. You can change the text, the graphics, but you have to have the same niche. So I'm going to write funny gingerbread man to get some quotes about it and press on regenerate. And now I have a couple of options to use as a text. So I'm going to change the length to short and this will regenerate more or different results shorter results i like the one that says baked and bold so once i i'm selecting the text and, and press on the, the the result i want it will automatically replace the selected text like so and then we can go back to the text menu and change the font and the style of the text so let's change the font to something else again you can change you can stretch the text box from the sides or you can simply change the, the text or the font size from the font menu. So I'm going to divide the text on two lines. So baked separately and the rest of the text on another line and play with the shadow of the text and the colors from the styles menu and regarding the star I'm going to delete it now I'm left with the gingerbread man graphic and the text so if you press on the right click and you can duplicate the text and add another line so I'm adding the rest of the text baked and bold and also stretch it then I decided to add the text on one line and play with the style, the offset, the angle to create this shadow effect. And once you play with the offset bar, you can see that the shadow gets bigger and also the angle changes the angle of the shadow and the inner, inner stroke changes or adds stroke to the text. And also, you can play with the letter spacing from this menu to make it wider or thinner. I like it this way. And I'm going to stretch it to fit my artboard. It's so simple and easy to add the text. Just follow the settings that appears to your left and everything is that simple. Now I'm going to add another line by from the text menu by pressing on the add text tab and i'm going to write gingerbread man while i was recording the video it was miswritten at the beginning but i fixed it fixed it uh, later i wrote ginger man bread instead of ginger bread man but anyway it will be fixed later and this time i'm going to choose more of a script font I like this one. Again, we can keep changing or stretching our graphics and text to fit the artboard and match and create a, a matching design. Now, let's go to the elements tab and search for some graphics. I'm going to search for some decorations. I'm trying to create some sort of a street like design while keeping the same niche of these candy and gingerbread mat so i can i will add a couple of street wear decorations i like this one once it, you press on any of the of these graphics it will be added directly to your artboard and then you can change the color of it from the edit graphic tab i'm going to change it to white 
Also from the layer spider, you can move your graphic to the back or change it along layers panel. Now let's go to the decorations tab again and search for some additional streetwear elements to add to the design. I like this star-like um, graphic. Again, you can play with the size of it and change the colors from the menu that appears to your left once you select any of the graphics. And I'm going to use menu, the, the right click menu to duplicate it like so. Now from the graphics panel, I'll keep adding some streetwear elements to continue filling the background of my design. I like this one. I'll, I'm going to add it at the bottom and change the color to white. And again, I'm going to move the positioning of this element to the back using the layers menu. And I'm going to add also this shape to the artboard, stretch it and change its colors, colors to white. Now let's change the background color from the design settings menu to see how the design is going to look. You might submit your design on a different color as if it is placed on a different t-shirt color. So let's try the light blue color and I'm going to change the text color accordingly, the main title color. So let's change the shadow color from this menu. So instead of red, Let's choose choose something different. I think this blue looks nice. And let's change shadow offset a little bit. And from the text menu, I'm going to add the template, ungroup it, and only use part of it for the design. I'm going to use the stars and the text one of the line, one of the text lines to add to the bottom of my design. And I'm going to change the text by double clicking on it and write my text. I'm, this time I'm going to write sweet delights. And while this text is selected, I can change the color from the left menu like so. And also I'm going to change or play with the styles and add different color for the shadow. And also, you can play with the angle of the shadow from this menu like so. Now, let's go to the Generate Graphics tab and generate some additional graphics. This time, I'm going to write Cute Candy Vector. I'll try to see what I'm going to get. So, let's try to use this one. Again, press on it and it will be placed directly to the artboard and automatically the background will be removed. I'm not sure if I'm going to keep it later. So let's see how it is going to go. And from the text tab, I'm going to add one of the text templates. I would like to add additional text to the design. So this template looks nice. I'm going to ungroup it delete some of the unnecessary items that I don't want and use only the text box stretch it like so again once you want to edit any text just double click on the text and you will have you will be able to edit it this time I'm going to write gingerbread man cooked with love and happiness and I'm going to rotate it like so to be placed on my artboard. And I'm going also to add an additional template. I just want to use this word, this style of text. I'm going to ungroup this template, delete also the unwanted parts, double click on the text and edit it. So I'm going to double click on it and write sweets. 
I'm going to use it as a part of the background of my text, of my design. Going to use the letter spacing to make it wider a little bit and place it to the background. Again, I'm going to use the layers panel to move it to the back like so and we can change and I'm going to change the positions of some of the graphics and I think the design now looks almost complete so once you're satisfied you can select all your elements on the board and stretch it to fit the board like so and once you are satisfied with the final design you now let's add some candy elements to the design so i'm going to search for candy in in the elements tab and i'm going to add this one to my design shrink it and place it at the back of my gingerbread man change some of its colors from the edit graphic tab on the left side and again um, i moved it to the back using the layers panel it's that simple guys and i'm going to add an additional candy graphic I'm going to flip it using the right click menu and similar to my pre previous graphic i'm going to change the brown color of the graphic to black and change some of and add some of the colors to these graphics our design is complete once you're satisfied just press on the submit design button to submit your final design to the challenge and also you can change the background color before submission so that you submit the design using the preferred color on the background so i'm going to add this blue color I, I think the design looks nice on both black and blue but let's change the color of the text on the side to make it visible I'm going to add to make it in black like so and voila the design is ready now let, press on the submit design to see the preview and then press on send and this is going to submit your design the challenge and now you are part of Vexel's channel and now you are part of Vexel's challenge that was it for this video if you enjoyed the video please hit the like button and again you will find the link in the description to participate in the challenge and again there is a discount code that offers you 20% discount in addition to the Vex's current discount which is going to make you a discount of 40% on any of Vex's plans. Thanks guys for watching.